AG Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode, we got this cool oven right here, and basically what this is, is a 12-inch frying pan. And you see the one that we got right here is from this brand. And if you guys remember in the past, I just reviewed another one from this brand, which is basically like a wok option. The way how they designed this one is more of a frying pan option. But first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like, all right? So when you guys open up, that's what it looks like inside. Let's take everything out. So pretty much inside, they do give you guys the actual product with the lid, and they do give you guys a little box. So take everything out first. Inside, they do probably got the handle option they had to put together itself, and they do give you guys instruction manual. So let's take it all out to show you guys what it looks like first. So right here is the instruction manual to teach you guys how to set up the lid option, which is basically very simple. And it's the same way how you guys would do it in the other one that I show you guys for the walk option. But right here, we do have the handle for the lid. So you basically want to unscrew it and then screw it on. And it does require you guys to use a screwdriver. So I'm actually get it first before I show you guys the actual product. All right, so I got my screwdriver. Now let me show you guys the lid first. So you can see for the lid, it's all well protected and everything. There's like multiple layer of protection. And right here, we do have the frying pan option. So before I show you guys the frying pan option, let me show you the lid because we have to set up the handle first. So what you're gonna do is take off this protective layer on here first. And then once you guys take it out, here is basically what the actual lid looks like. So it looks like the side is like stainless steel and the middle part right here is glass. And if you guys notice for the middle part right here, they do have a little hole for you to set up the handle. And right here, there's another hole for the steam to come out. So let's set the handle to show you guys what it looks like first. So first you want to do is unscrew it. All right. So once you guys take it out, you guys want to put this on. So the way how you guys put it on, you guys want to put it on like this on the bottom first. So just like this. And then once you guys do that, you guys want to put the other layer on top. So you guys want to put this one right here first. And then the other one on top. And then once you guys do that, you guys screw it on. And when you guys screw it on, you guys want to make sure it's tight enough so that it won't be loose. But not too tight to the point where it will break. So this is what the lid looks like on this side with the handle. And then here is the other side. So if you guys notice for the handle right here, it's basically the same as the walk option that I showed you guys last time from the same exact brand. So it does give you guys the option to put like this onto the table to hold it in place. Or you can put it down like this as well. And I will show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys do put in the table in a second. But if you guys notice for the handle right here, it does give you guys a pretty good grip. So that way you can hold it really easily. But that is basically everything that's on the lid. Now let me show you guys what the actual frying pan looks like first before I touch it out. All right, so right here we do have the frying pan. But once you guys take it out, here is basically what the pot looks like. So you guys notice the design of the pot is actually very similar, but for this one, it's not as deep as the walk option that I showed you guys last time. But inside, they definitely still have that same kind of design and same kind of material, which is basically like that non-stick honeycomb design. So when you guys do feel it, you guys can definitely hear that material that's inside. It's actually scratch resistant and also give you guys that non-stick layer as well. And the cool thing about this pot is the fact that when you guys use it, it doesn't matter what kind of utensil you guys use, whether it's like silicone or wooden or even for like metal utensils, it doesn't matter because that layer that's on here. And like I mentioned for the one that we got right here, it is the 12 inch. They do have this available in a smaller size as well. So if you guys prefer like a smaller one and not the 12 inch, you can get those instead. But you can see on the side right here is all like stainless steel material, except for the bottom part right here. The bottom part right here might be the same kind of like honeycomb design or something. That's also scratch resistant and probably like non-stick as well. So that way I can clean it really easily. And then right here we do have the handle. So the handle part right here definitely feels pretty nice. It has a little bit of a cooling effect, but not a lot. Top part right here, they do give you guys a little hole where to hang somewhere to keep it organized if you guys do want to. And right here is what it looks like for the attachment part. So when you guys put the lid on top, and once you guys put on the lid, here is basically what the product looks like. So now I'm actually go test out the product to show you guys how well it works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. So if it's the first time using the product, you do want to use some like warm water and soap to wash it. So let's do that first. All right, now you guys want to do the same thing for the pan. So like I mentioned for the pan, because it does have like that non-stick layer on here and a honeycomb design on here, it's so much easier for you to clean it. If it's in here. And it won't matter which side you guys use on the sponge as well because of that honeycomb design. All right, so that should be good. Let's test it out to see how it works. So if you guys notice for the lid that we have right here, when you guys put it on the table, this is basically how you guys can use it if you guys want to or it's go like this. But the other way is probably easier because that's how they designed it for you guys to put in. Eventually how stable the product is. 
But now let's test out the pan to show you guys how well it works. If you guys do like fry stuff, maybe like even cook egg or something. All right, so first thing you want to do is just turn on the fire to let it heat up first. So like I mentioned for this pan, when you guys do use it, you can definitely use like wooden utensils, metal utensils, or even silicone. I'm gonna use the silicone material because it works a lot better in this kind of like pan. All right, so it looks like it's ready. Let's crack the egg. So here's basically what the pot looks like once you guys do crack the egg inside. Obviously when you guys cook it in here, you guys can definitely add oil or whatever. But for this test, I want to show you guys how well it works if you guys don't add oil. And before you flip it or whatever, let me actually put on the lid to show you guys what it looks like. Here's basically what the pot looks like with the lid on. So when you guys put on the lid, the steam can definitely come out from the hole right here. If you see how well it's working already. So if you guys use your utensil. If you see how well the non-stick layer on here definitely works. And definitely see how nothing on here really sticks on when you guys do use it because that honeycomb design like I mentioned but also like that non-stick layer that's on here as well. So that way it's makes it a lot easier for it to cook stuff in here and easy for it to clean as well. You can see how everything just comes off real easily. So like all this stuff on the side, if you guys want to scrape it off, feel free to do so because it will come off eventually. Alright, so you can see the pot definitely does work and actually works pretty well. Alright, come back guys. So now I'll quick test the pot and definitely see actually does work and actually works quite well. So like I mentioned earlier for this product, when you guys do use it, it's actually very similar to the other one that we reviewed in the past, which is basically the walk option. And for this brand, they actually have a lot of other similar products as this one right here, where it's like the pot version or even like the walk option or the pan option. And after testing out so many like pots and pans, like non-stick pots or whatever, these have to be one of my favorite pots and pans because it does give you guys that non-stick layer on there. But on top of that, it gives you guys that honeycomb design. So that way you can use any kind of utensils on here, whether it's like silicone, wooden, or metal. And that way you can prolong the life of the non-stick layer that's on here as well. Just like what you guys see in the video. So depending on what you guys need, like a pot or a pan or whatever, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we can unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality frying pan that has a similar design as this one right here. Where it's actually very similar to like the Hex Clap brand, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously if it told you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.